Welcome to Investor Watch with James Ulrich. I'm your host, James, and today we'll cover a global collaboration worth up to $760 million. AstraZeneca's rare disease group, Alexion, closed a deal with Neuromune for NI006, an investigational human monoclonal antibody that is currently in its phase 1b development for the treatment of transthyrodin amyloid cardiomyopathy, or ATTRCM for short. This will be an exclusive global collaboration of almost $800 million that will allow Alexion the license to develop, manufacture, and commercialize NI006. Alexion made an upfront payment to Neuromune of $30 million already, satisfying the first part of their agreement. NI006 depletes ATTR, specifically targeting tissue-deposited, misfolded transthyroidin. It is designed to directly address the pathology of ATTRCM, and it does this by enabling removal of amyloid fibril deposits in the heart, with the potential to treat patients with advanced ATTRCM. NI006 adds a different, complementary approach to Alexion's channel of investigational therapies on amyloid doses. The broader commitment of the company is addressing cardiomyopathies that lead to heart failure. Heart failure, as you know, is a chronic disease preventing enough blood to circulate throughout the body, and it affects over 60 million people worldwide. It is also an economic difficulty, as it is the leading cause of hospitalizations for persons over the age of 65. AstraZeneca wants to be the leading company in matters of dealing with heart failure. So, they are investing in multiple investigational therapies to pursue this. Alexion will make additional milestone payments of up to $730 million that will be contingent on the achievement of certain development, regulatory, and commercial milestones. Royalties will also be made out to Neuromune on net sales of any approved medicine from the medical trials. The royalty percentage is expected to be within the range of the low to mid-teens. Cardiomyopathy, due to ATTR, is caused by aging or genetic mutations, resulting in misfolded TTR protein and accumulation as amyloid fibrils in the cardiac myocardium. There are about 300 to 500,000 patients with this condition, but many of them remain undiagnosed. In patients with ATTRCM, both the mutant and the wild-type TTR protein builds up as fibrils and tissues, including the heart. The presence of TTR fibrils interferes with the normal functions of these tissues, so as the TTR protein fibrils enlarge, more tissue damage occurs, and the disease worsens, resulting in a poor quality of life and, eventually, death. Alexion has been a leader in rare diseases for nearly 30 years, focusing on novel molecules and targets in the complement cascade and its development efforts in several fields. So, we'll keep an eye on the situation as it grows and the trial processes progress. For Investor Watch, this is James Ulrich, and I'll see you in the next episode.